Hi! In this video, you're gonna learn about the orientation detector, a simple component that detects your current screen orientation. The orientation detector is not enabled by default, and if you want to make sure it is enabled, you should go to Tools, Does UI Control Panel, and here in the General tab under the Functionality column you will see your orientation detector. Right now it is disabled. You can tell if it's disabled if you create a new UI view and if you do not see a target orientation option here. I'm gonna enable it right now and you'll notice that a target orientation option appears. By default, all the UI views are set for any device orientation. So they do not uh, check it. So let's uh, also debug the orientation detector. So you can see what is the current detected orientation. Debug mode. Let's select the orientation detector and close this. When we enter play mode, the orientation detector will be created automatically and it will automatically detect the current orientation. Let's press play and you will see it will appear. And also because it's in debug mode, it will say current device orientation landscape. And that's true, it's landscape. And it also appeared. There it is. It's a simple component. You can also hook up to it should you need to, but usually you should not need to do that. Let's uh, change the orientation to portrait. Again, it detected that current device orientation portrait. Even if you are in free aspect mode, let's uh, change this a bit. So now this is a landscape. And if I resize it, you will see that it says portrait. Let's set it like that landscape and let's change it portrait it reacts when it changes landscape all right you can also have it in your scene should you need it just right click doozy orientation orientation detector and you have it here and you can also enable debug mode if you're not using the global debug let's disable the global debug i'm going to disable it now and let's press play this again will be available here and it has a unity event that sends the detected orientation whenever it changes let's uh, also see it in action so i'll use this ui view and i'll say this is only for portrait orientation i'm gonna duplicate it and i'm gonna say this is for landscape orientation so i'll say here p and l so right, right now i have two ui views with the same view category and view name, but one is meant for landscape and one is meant for portrait. Let me change the color of the one for portrait to red and the one for landscape, let's make it green. So let's check it out. And this one is, let's say, what was this? Portrait, yeah, portrait. Let's say just P. And here, this is landscape, L. Now let's press play and see what happens. We will see the landscape view. And if I change the orientation, this will get hidden. Notice that this one for the portrait mode is not visible. Only the landscape one is visible. So let's change the orientation. There you go. Let's also go full screen. And let's go to landscape. And let's go to portrait. And you can design your entire UI with uh, two UI views, one for landscape and one for portrait, should you have different layouts and different requirements. If you're using one that uh, is for both orientations, like uh, this one, so number two is for any, you won't have an issue because it will work for any orientation and you, you will not have that animation played when you change orientation. So let me show you, let's go to number two. Let's change uh, to landscape. As you can see, there is no animation because it's just a resize. But if you go to number one, this is the portrait one. Notice the P. And here is the landscape one. If I go to number two and let's change the orientation. And now we'll see the red one. Yeah. So you can see the system also is able to detect without any intervention from uh, our side, 
it can detect what orientation the device is in and show the proper UI view. You just use the same name. Note that if you have different views for a certain uh, orientation, so you have two, two UI views for different orientations, there are, they should be in pairs. So if you have one for the portrait, you should always have at least one for landscape in order for it to work. If you have an, uh, a view that is only for the um, landscape, for example, you, you should create an empty view for portraits. So they should be in pairs in order for the system to work. That's a minor inconvenience, but uh, yeah, the most cases you will have pairs and you just change the orientation. And uh, that's it. That's all for the orientation detector. It's a very simple component that does its job. And uh, yeah, you really don't even have to add it to your scene. You just press play and it's activated from the control panel and it will just work. So yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>